everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing this package from K-Town for you. It is a little bit on the larger side, and that is because this is supposed to contain two separate Seasons Greetings kits. I did order a few of these this year since my list of alt groups expanded during 2020. And I ordered these from Keytown for You because they usually have the cheapest prices, and they were also offering exclusive pre-order benefits. Which, uh, we can see <laughs> the cards are just kind of loose inside the box, which I don't totally love. So let's take a look at those cards first. Those will definitely reveal, uh, what season's greetings I've purchased. So, the ones that were just loose, that were not in any kind of sleeve or anything, are two Wano photo cards from his season's greetings, Stay at Home, and there were also exclusive benefits from the Highline G Market store, but k Down for You, like I said, had the better prices, so that was the one I went with. I'm really not going out of my way to collect all of the different pre-order benefits for different websites, especially when it's for a non-album item like Season's Greetings. And the other cards, thankfully, were in a plastic sleeve. And those, you can tell, are for the Monster X Season's Greetings. And of course, I had to get these two together. And then this one looks like it's going to be unit photo cards, which is nice. I always love their unit cards. So it looks like we've got I Am and Hyungwon. And the backs are all the same. Kihyun and Juhani. And Minhyuk and Shonu. And it looks like they must have shot this around the same time as Fatal Love, because Minhyuk is still blonde. And I will say, my one complaint with the K-Town for You benefits for Starship slash Highline is Starship cards are usually a bit bigger. They're usually a bit wider than normal photo cards, whereas these are more standard photo card size. So they're thinner than most of the Starship photo cards. And I would also just like to point out the Wano cards that were loose. I don't know how well you can see it, but one of them is very bent. Uh, luckily it's not creased in any way, so I should be able to just like sit it under a heavy object and flatten it back out, but uh, that is something to be aware of if you are interested in getting these Gate Down For You cards, or if you've ordered from there, because they might come in in less than perfect condition. And I do want to go ahead and show the packaging for both before I actually get into them. So this is the packaging for Wano. I really like it. It's got like this cutout on the front where you can see an image through it. That must be the cover of something else on the kit. And then that's what it looks like on the back. Stay at home, Wano 2021 season's greetings. Really cute. I'm really excited to see that concept. It'll be nice to see a softer concept from him as a soloist considering his debut album definitely had a sexier concept. And then the Monster X one is also pretty cute. I love all the little sticker graphics on it. But it is a lot more simple on the cover. Uh, there's no pictures. It just says, Hi, Mom Bebe, have a good day. <laughs> Which I guess is the title of this one. 2021 Monster X Seasons Greetings. And we have the members' names at the bottom as well. And this is a sturdier material, I can feel already. That's what the back looks like. So let's take a closer look at Wano's with the plastic wrap off. And I pointed out that I liked the window cutout. I like it even more with the plastic off, actually, because I was expecting it to just be straight open, where you could feel the item through it. But no, there's actually like a piece of plastic protecting the items inside, so that is really good. They didn't have to do that, but it's a small detail that I really appreciate. Um, and this one is kind of a cardboard material, and it opens with a tab, so everything is all connected. And you can see, yeah, the plastic window right there. That is a really nice touch, honestly. On the side over here, it almost reminds me of a postcard. Um, this is Dear Weenie, that is his fandom name, invitation card from Wano. That 
it must have something inside it, but it is sealed with an actual sticker seal. So let me try and very, very carefully open that up without damaging it. I honestly really like this packaging so far. It's really creative for a season's greetings. Like, they actually made the box a part of it. Um, but this is what was inside the little envelope. Which is really cute. It's got, like, an actual perforation, like a real ticket. It's got a 301, which, of course, is Wano's birthday. Very, very cute. And it's a nice, thick-feeling card material also. Really adorable. I'm sorry, it was too stuck together, and I did not realize that. So this was the first one, and that is actually what the back of that looks like. It's got a handwritten message. Very sweet. And this is the second one. Well, that explains why it felt so thick. It was two of them. And that's the back of that one. Still very cute. Still really nice bonus. And I did look at the specifications of what each of these came with before I bought them, but I didn't look super closely, and that was back in December, so I don't remember what all of them were now. So the first thing we have here is the calendar itself, the death calendar. And then we have all of the other goodies behind that. And it looks like we have quite a lot of them. So here we have our making DVD. I appreciate the extra security of it being in an envelope inside of a plastic envelope. And I also like that that means that this doesn't have to be sealed with a sticker, because that's a trend I don't love. So that's what DVD looks like. Pretty simple, with some of the same line art. From the actual package. I'm not sure if this has subtitles or not. It does not say. Starship is pretty hit or miss subtitles. Yes, I know one was technically signed to Highline, not Starship, but they are definitely under the same umbrella, so I presume the same rules will apply there. It could have subtitles, but it could not. <laughs> you really won't know until you check it out, probably. And then the next thing we have is... A standing paper, which is a standee. I presume it's just the one, so I'm not going to take that out of the plastic just yet. Um, and then we also have a sticker sheet. So we have this one, which is two pictures of Wano, and then the words stay at home. You really should. You really, really should. Um, they're just blank on the back. And then this one, which has a bunch of different objects. I presume these will relate to things in the actual calendar. Very curious about the story of the eggs there. And then let's see, we have this little Ziploc bag of more stickers. I really like this little bag. That's really cute. Oh, this is really fun. It's like a sticker calendar. Like if you were to do bullet journaling, these would probably be really cute to stick in your monthly spreads. Um, because you have the whole month, and then a little graphic, which I presume goes along with that month's design and the desk calendar. So we have January, February, I see the eggs again, March, April, which is my birth month, May, that's really cute. I wonder if he drew these. I know he does draw June, July, August, love the little game controller, that's adorable, September, October, November, oh the little bunny, oh that's really precious, and then December. Very cute. And next up, and this is something that I am pleasantly surprised by, you get a set of Polaroid photo cards. I saw the album specifics for this, and I just assumed that these would be random. I really did not think they would just give you the whole set, but that is awesome. That is a thick stack of cards, too. That is so cool. Let's take a look through these. This is the first one. I think they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of sticking together a little bit. And that's what the back looks like, and all the backs 
are going to be the same. Um, there is a little bit of damage on that one, unfortunately. Just some manufacturing issues, but nothing too major, thankfully. That is so cute. Yeah, and that's what the back properly looks like. <laughs> that is such a fun picture. Of course, of course there's one of him eating ramen. These are fun. There's a nice mix of cute and goofy and serious. I think this might go along with the months as well. Alright, let's see what else we have in this box. We have... Is this a poster? I think it is a poster. I like the material of the poster. It feels... Not like normal paper. It feels more... Almost laminated, but that's not quite the right word for it. One thing I really appreciate is that even though it's folded, they folded it on places where there are lines in the design. So it doesn't crease any of the pictures. That's actually really, really smart. Yeah, this is a really fun poster. I like that it shows off. I'm assuming these are all the different concepts for the month in the calendar. But that's a really clever way to do this. To show off all the different concepts at once. That's really fun. It looks like the last album in the box is the journal planner thing and this is the large three ring binder type. I think that's what Luna had last year. Mom's X might have had it last year too. I opened so many of these I don't 100% remember. So this is what it looks like. We have this plastic kind of PVC type cover that is larger than the notebook itself. And that is what the very large spiral binding is attached to. There's six holes rather than the usual three. And it opens with a snap. And that's what the back looks like. If you're curious there. This is nice. It gives you a place to put the date that you start this on. And I feel like I see this in all of my seasons, greetings, and boxings. I don't normally use these because I keep them just as collector's items. So I don't write in these. But this is nice. It Right at the front, it gives you a table of contents for what's going to be in here. So there is monthly and weekly planning pages. You have 24 pages for monthly planning, 120 pages for weekly, and then 24 pages of Wano photos. Then you have daily record pages, plain, point, line, and grid, 10 pages of those, and then free note pages, plain, point, line, and grid, 10 pages of those. So those ones I'll go through kind of quickly because I'm mostly just here to see the photos. So this is what the monthly spreads look like. This is the one for January. And this is meant to be a 2021 planner, so it does have the specific dates for those. I know some planners will have it so you write your own in, but this has the actual 2021 dates. And it looks like the pictures are going to be divvied up by each month. So yes, this proves these are the concepts for each different month of the year. So it looks like January we have working out. Pretty fitting with those uh, New Year's resolutions that I know some people like to set. And we have the weekly planners. This is actually a really cute design with the little squares. I feel like if I were to use one of these planners, I could get some use out of this one. I like the boxes for each day and then a little to-do list at the end to keep track. We have February. I'm not quite sure what this concept is, but it's adorable. I love the sheep ear towel art. And <laughs> then the eggs. The eggs are here. I'm just going to go through those kind of quickly now that we've seen what those look like. 
So we have March. Of course, on March 1st, we have written in Wano Day, because that is his birthday. And our March concept appears to be cleaning up around the house. Very cute. March planning. Then we have April. For April, it looks like we have maybe a barista concept with some coffee. Those darn tortilla chips. I see them in the background. They're always there when I always do shoots with food. Every time. <laughs> yeah, this is a really nice planner. And then for May, so we've got a bit of a sleepy time concept. And then, aw, on June 29th, we have written in Weenie Day, because that was the day that the fan base was given its name. I still distinctly remember getting that VLive notification, opening it up, and the anticipation of waiting to see what the official fan base name would be. And when he turned that piece of paper around and I read what it said, I was like, that's, that's not pronounced how I think it is, is it? And then he said it, and yes, it sure is. And I know, it really does have, like, a sweet meaning to it, and once he explained that, it sounded a lot nicer, but just, yeah, the initial impression of weenie <laughs> definitely caught me off guard. I, out of all the things I could have thought of for a fan base name, that definitely was not on my radar. But that is our name. That is our random name now. <laughs> so for June, it looks like we have a snack time thing. We've got some chips, got some popcorn. I love the pizza sweater. That's beautiful. Oh, and you can see the foot tattoo. Always a fan of that. In June. Then to July. Oh, this concept looks fun. The sparkly glove, hello. I hope we see a little bit more of that on the calendar. That is cool. August to August looks like we have a gaming concept. Record player in the background. We have September. On September 4th, we have Wano's debut first anniversary as a soloist. This seems to be the more sophisticated concept with the glasses and the button-up shirt. But that is kind of offset by the slightly goofy face there. And then October. That's also a cool concept. The leather jacket. Should have done a Halloween outfit. And then for November, that is also very cool, very classy. And then finally, December. Oh, interesting that that is what the party decorations are for. You would think those would be for his birthday month, but I guess not. I guess maybe they meant more of a New Year's celebration kind of thing. That kind of makes sense. And then the rest of the December planning pages. And then our daily record pages. Oh, oh, this is really cute. They have a section at the end of it for a 2020 bucket list. That's really cute. Like goals, I guess, for each month. That's fun. And here we have... Oh, I see what these are. These are like the little diary entries that I'll see artists do sometimes on Korean variety shows. I guess, I think this is more of a Korean diary writing style. It's definitely like writing down what you did that day. So they have some plain paper, some dot paper, some line paper, and then some grid paper. So we've got a couple pages of each of those. That's fun. And then a checklist. 
for the year. We have our free note paper, which is just full blank dotted lined and grid paper. So that's nice. Yeah, this is definitely a very nice planner. We have the page for personal data at the back. Put your name, mobile phone number, email address, physical address, and a URL. I guess you want to plug your website in your own diary. But yeah, that was really nice. Really well put together. Actually would be useful as an actual journal if you wanted to use it that way. Which not all of these are, I don't think. And then finally, last but not least, we have our actual desk calendar. Which, that is the item that we saw peeking through the front cover. So it says, 10-2021 Seasons Greetings Desk Calendar. Stay at home, up at the top. And the back is just blank. So, for January, as we expected before, we have the working out concept. So, yeah, these definitely will go along with what we saw in the planner. I love February. I don't understand what exactly the concept is supposed to be. Oh, maybe it's, like, supposed to be a spa day at home or something like that. Either way, it's really cute. I love the nice full page shots, those are really pretty. We have March. The little beanie is so adorable. Oh, that's so cute. Like I said at the start, I really do like seeing a softer concept from him as a soloist. I understand why I kind of turned the dial up on the sexy for the actual album. But I like that we now have a photo shoot with a softer concept as well. You can see a little bit of both. Because I've heard talk that the solo comeback is going to be sexier as well. So we get a nice little breather from that, at least for the season's greetings. Yeah, I like the April shots. These are really pretty with like the barista concept. And you know what's kind of funny about that is... Some of the first Wano pictures that I remember saving after I started really getting into Monsta X and biasing Wano were from like a cafe event that they did where they were like being baristas. So it's kind of a nice little full circle moment now that that's the concept for my birthday on the Wano solo calendar. <laughs> and for May, just a very soft, sleepy picture. Adorable. These are all such nice full page shots. And then for June, I like the 3D glasses. I don't know if those are working 3D glasses or just like 3D style. They're really cute. And again, love the pizza sweater. July. Oh, I get it. This is like a karaoke concept. Oh, that's fun. Is that the one going to have the sparkly gloves? Oh, you can't really see the glove. I mean, you can a little bit, but that's really cool. I'd love to see more pictures of this shoot specifically, because I really like the styling with the sparkly glove. That's really fun. And then August. Definitely a game concept. There's a card game, too, so that's fun. He just looks like a little nerd, and it's so cute. And then September, very refreshing with the lemon slices. That's a really handsome shot. Yeah, I'm really excited to put this up on display all year. Because <laughs> I actually do use my desk calendars. That is the one part of the season's greetings that I always get actual use out of. So for October, I guess maybe this is like dress up, fashion show kind of thing. Which I guess does kind of make sense for Halloween. That's a really gorgeous shot. I think that was one of the preview pictures. That's really pretty. And 
and then for November, again, more just like a standard handsome photo shoot, but I really, I really like pretty much all of the photo concepts here. I wasn't personally a huge fan of all of the concepts in this first solo album, but it just wasn't a concept that was so much for me. Like, I completely understood what he was going for, and absolutely, if that direction is the direction he wants to go in as a soloist, you know, I support him <laughs> going in the direction he wants to wholeheartedly. I just don't personally enjoy that styling quite as much. So I like that even the more, like, handsome, sexy photo shoots here, they are a little more subdued, because I personally like that a bit better than the, like, shirtless on every page kind of thing. But to be clear, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and if that is the kind of image that he wants to show, by all means, go for it. Happy for him, you know? It's just not my personal favorite if I'm giving my personal opinion. But again, we'll support him in whatever he does musically, because I'm really, really glad he's back in the industry. Like a year ago, I could never have imagined I would be unboxing a Wano solo calendar. So no matter what the content is, I'm happy we have it. And of course, we end with December with the sort of New Year's celebration. Got the cake. I am confused because the hat definitely does say happy birthday. And his birthday is not in December. Is it like a happy birthday Jesus kind of thing? But he's got champagne like it's New Year's. I don't totally understand, but it's really cute. Love the shirt. Love the rainbow colors on that. That's really pretty. And then... Oh, that's fun. For the last page, it's got kind of like... An extra cover image with like... I think that's... Yeah, that's the full picture from every month. Like a smaller version of all of those. That's really cute. Next, let's take a look at the Monster X 2021 Seasons Greetings. And this is more of a sturdy box packaging. I want to say their 2020 Seasons Greetings was also like this. But I think that one was glossy and this one is matte. And their Seasons Greetings last year honestly was not my favorite. I honestly wonder if they maybe had a different season's greetings concept that they might have shot and then had to like quickly come up with a new one. Because it did seem kind of rushed and kind of simple compared to what they normally do. They very well may have just done a simple concept that year. I'm not really sure. But it also wouldn't surprise me if it was kind of a rush job. So I'm excited for this one. What I've seen in the previews definitely looks really cute and more like what I expect from Mons X's Seasons Greetings, I would say. We start with this really large postcard image of the six of them, all smiling adorably. I love that they're all dressed in blue. I love that that is a common theme among the two separate Seasons Greetings. And this is an AR poster. Starship has really fallen in love with the AR tech lately, it seems like. And it's just blank on the back. Then right after that we have the calendar. And I'm actually going to go ahead and take a look at the calendar before I look at the extra stuff. We're going to switch it up. And yeah, the packaging does seem pretty similar to what I remember from their 2020 season's greetings because we have all of the extra stuff and little boxes behind it. And I remember thinking that was pretty fun when they did it that way last year. So this is our 2021 calendar. It says, hi mom baby, have a good day. And then the like sticker type designs around it say, always lucky to love, love, vi. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's, it's the word love, but it's cut off at the top and bottom. I thought that was a two at the top, but it is an L, not a T. Uh, really cute already. I'm really excited to see some of these pictures. So after that, we have like a small 2021 calendar. I love the smiley face. That's really cute. And then on the back, we have this picture again. That's really pretty. Just an mostly orange here and like this really pretty garden or a park that's really pretty I really like that and that's not even for one of the months that's just like an extra picture you get so I wonder if we're going to be going in age order this time because we start off with Shonu I'm 
looks like he's holding a dessert of some kind. We have some important days marked off. On the 15th is Young One's birthday, and on the 26th is I Am's birthday. Our January babies. And it's always bothered me how Mom's acts almost never have the members on the month for their birthdays. <laughs> I say this in every single unboxing of Mom's Axe calendars, but it's like the opportunity is right there, and they never do it, I feel like. This trips me up every time, because I turned the page and saw Minhyuk, and was like, oh, we're not in age order, because Minhyuk's next. I always forget Minhyuk is next now, because I'm so used to Minhyuk being third in the lineup that uh, it never feels right. I don't think it's ever going to feel right that Minhyuk is the second oldest in the group now. So it's like we are going in age order. Oh, oh, they like ha they have little cakes. Oh, this reminds me of the 2019 one, I think it was. Or was it 2018? Which was the one when they were at the cafe and had the rainbow cake? Reminds me of that, which was one of my favorite Monsac Seasons greetings concepts. So I love a little callback to that. Oh, oh, and he's reading a book. Oh, that's so soft. That's so precious. Such a shame they give these adorable pictures on the shortest month of the year. Yeah, these are age order. Because next up we have Kihyun. He's also got a pastry of some kind. Yeah, I really, I really like this concept. It reminds me a lot of that other one where they had the cafe photo shoot, which, like I said, was one of my favorite season's greetings concepts. So I love that this reminds me of that. I really do. I also like that they're kind of going back and forth between the two concepts instead of having it be all one and then all the other. So we have Hyungwon for April, and he's in the orange concept here. So I have a bottle of lemonade next to him. Very cute. And we have Chu Honey in May. Yeah, all the pastries look so pretty. And then in May, of course, on the 14th, we have Mom's Axe's debut anniversary. <laughs> oh, this is really pretty. And then for June, we have I Am holding this... Is it a fake flower? Possibly fake flower. I don't know enough about flowers to tell from this picture. But it's really cute. And he's got a table full of donuts in front of him. And then, of course, on June 18th, we have Shonu's birthday. Very important day. I expected the next month to be Shonu. But it's not. We have Minhyuk with the blue concept. Why are there pastries on the ground? What? What is going on there? But also, I really love this picture. This is really aesthetically pleasing to me. All of the blue, all of the pastries. Is that fairy bread? That is that is straight up white bread with frosting on it. Oh dear. <laughs> they have all these nice looking pastries and then white bread with frosting. Okay. Well, it looks pretty at least. Oh my god, yeah, that's straight up white bread with frosting. Okay. But yeah, blue is my favorite color. So all of the blue in this makes me really happy. I actually really genuinely love that both the Monsex and Wano Seasons greetings have blue concepts, not just for the unity between those two, but just because I love that color. So I'm always happy to see more blue <laughs> concepts and photo shoots. And then we have Shonu for August. And the orange is really nice too, because I feel like that's a color you don't see a whole lot for photo shoots. But it's really fun, it's really pretty. It's nice to have something different. And then for September, we have Hyungwon. So I think this is just kind of the pairs reversed. And I love how long his hair has gotten. Like, it, the length that is here reminds me of how long it was 
for their 2019 world tour when I saw them, but it's even longer than this now. Like, he's still growing it out, and I don't know. I'm sure he'll cut it at some point, but I'm really enjoying it in the meantime, because I feel like long hair suits him really well, and I didn't expect him to grow it out this long again after he cut it after the tour. Of course, on September 26th, we have Mom Bebe's birthday. Very important day. Can't forget it. Yu Ki Hyun. Look at him. Where is his modeling contract, Starship? Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. And just all the pastries and the drinks and the flowers. I love this image. Like, I can't even explain to you why, but I love this image. Thank you for this, Ki Hyun. Oh, and this is so pretty, too. How will I choose which image to display this month? Of course, on October 6th, we have Juhani's birthday. Hello, Chonghyun. Being Chonghyun. <laughs> also, literally, no one is on the month for their birthday. In true Monster X Season 3 Wings tradition. Love this picture, though. Love it. Blue and pink are my favorite colors, so I love that rug. We have Min Hyuk's birthday on November 3rd and Ki Hyun's on November 22nd. Our November babies. And then finally, last but not least, we end the year on Ju Honey. Which, that is such a cute picture of. It looks so soft. I love it. Oh, oh, these are both really cute pictures. And that one, not to be me, but it kind of reminds me of Wano's picture with the lemon slices from his calendar. I know it's a coincidence, but I just think it's neat. And again, it ends with this kind of, like, alternate cover image of them all in the blue outfits. Very pretty. Yeah, already definitely like this one a lot better than the 2021 the 2021 was fine, it just, like I said, wasn't quite up to my usual standards for Mom's Snacks. I think it was the 2018 one that had the pastries. That had the rainbow cake. Now let's take a look at all of the other goodies in the box. So we have the DVD, again in the little envelope that companies seem to love these days. It is sealed with a piece of tape. See, that's why I like that Wano's was in the plastic sleeve, so you didn't have to worry about this. Because they never peel off right. They never do. Oh, but the disc design is adorable. It's the smiley face. That's so cute. I really wasn't expecting uh, anything special from the design. But that is precious. And that looks like we have two different boxes with extra items. We have this one, which has the AR photo card set, the AR Polaroid set, AR greeting card and stand set, and then the mowing manual, which I think is instructions on how to do the AR stuff. And this other one has the acrylic keyring, which I believe is random member, the ID photo set, sticker set, and a two-cut photo set. Let's save that for last, because I want to keep the random member a surprise. We've got... Looks like a universe thing. Which that app, I feel like, will be launching any day now. They posted another promo for it recently. Yeah, it's got a QR code you can scan for a reward, so I'll hang on to that. And then we have our journal, which is hardcover this year. That's really nice. Well, it looks really thick, too. I think I'm going to take a look at that first and then see what's in the little boxes. So I love that it's hardcover. That's really fun. Definitely not one that I would use as a journal, even if I did, because I would not want to mess up this nice hardcover book. Start off with this group photo. Very cute. Have some pictures of Shonu. Minhyuk. Again, who gave them white bread with frosting? Why is that a thing? I'm realizing that's not fairy bread, because fairy bread is butter and sprinkles, but that's what it reminds me of. There's no other dessert I can think of that's white bread. <laughs> I love Keishan's smile. It's so cute. We have Young Won. 
Joe Honey. And I am. Then we have our 2021 calendar, month by month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. I have some more photos. The orange concept. And I will say, I actually really, really like how different this is from the 101. Because I feel like it would have been really easy for Starship slash Highline to like make a template and like do the same thing for both, just like change it up a little. But they're super different. The formats of everything are super different. The calendars are different sizes. The diaries are totally different designs. And I really admire that because they didn't really have to do that. I really love these pictures of Nunchak in the orange sweater. He looks so soft. It goes really well with his yellow blonde hair. Again, where is Kihyun's modeling contract? He's so gorgeous. Oh, that's precious. I miss Nunchaks a lot. I was supposed to see them last year on their tour, and of course that got postponed. It's supposedly happening this spring, but I really don't think it will. I think it's going to end up getting pushed back again. I'll be really surprised if it doesn't. I'm honestly afraid if it doesn't get pushed back, then I'm just not going to be able to go. But I just, I can't see them traveling over here with the way things are right now. Unless things get a lot better really fast, which I don't see happening. I just, I hope the tour is able to happen at some point and it doesn't end up just being completely canceled. But if it is, I will definitely understand. We have our weekly planners, starting with January, two, week four. Try to skip through these kind of quick because they look like that. Well, we've got some pictures in the middle. Got a unit picture of Juan and Kiyun. They look so happy here. That makes me really happy to see. We have our February planners. Our new one, Nidjak and Shonu. So it looks like we're going to have a picture after each month of planning. So we have March. Then we have I Am and Hyungwon, a really good duo. We have April. After April. Oh, that's so cute. Then we have May. And the other three. I love how totally different the vibes are. You've got the April unit just all adorable and smiley. And then the May unit looking so chic. You put them on Dynasty or something. I love it. The June. We have Juhani and Kihan again. Love the curly straw. That's fun. July. That's cute. I don't know why they're holding throw pillows, but very cute. Then August. Got these two again. Again, the freaking bread with frosting is everywhere. Did everyone have to take a picture with that? Then for September, we've got the two trios again. They're trying to look chic there, but still don't quite match their vibes. In October. Yeah, this makes sense for October. It really has fall vibes. Again, Kikin smile. So cute. In November. Yeah, with the leaves changing colors. Super fall vibes. Love it. And then finally for December. We don't have a picture after December. We have some memo lines. Let's get some lined paper. Looks like you just get lined paper here. And then, oh, a little 2022 calendar. That's fun. Oh, and then it says, thank you for the great work today at the end. That's really sweet. Yeah, that's a really nice little journal thing. Very cute. 
I feel like the 101 is more useful as a planner, at least the way that I use planners. If I were to use one as a planner, that would be my one of choice. But like I said, I don't use these as planners because I just keep them for the pictures, for collector's items. Now let's take a look at the box with the AR photo card set. So we've got the card about the AR stuff. It's got like an individual code at the bottom, so I'm not showing that. Oh, the Polaroids are big, okay. Well, I'll show everything in the plastic wrap first. So we've got the photo cards, the Polaroids, and the postcards, which just gradually increase in size. Oh, I'm sorry, these aren't postcards. They are greeting cards and stand sets. And all of these are AR. They all have AR tech. Told you, Starship found a new toy and fell in love with it. We start off with show new. I assume there will be one for each member. Are they blank on the back? No. Oh, they have handwritten messages on the back. Why did show new draw a cow? It's the year of the cow. Okay. I saw these pictures on Twitter out of context, just the drawings. I didn't see that they were from the back of these. And I was like, why, why did they all draw cows? 2021 is the year of the cow. Okay, there is context for it. That's the handwritten message on the back cute. Oh, Minhyuk is adorable. I love Minhyuk. Oh, his cow is like going through an emo phase. That's precious. Mm. He's been posting a lot of really like heartfelt stuff on social media lately and I can tell he's not had the greatest times all the time lately, but I hope he's doing all right presently because I love Minhyuk. He means a lot to me, and it really is hard as a fan when you see, like, the people that have helped you through really dark times going through some not-so-great times themselves. Like, you you just find yourself wishing you could do more to, like, get your love across to them, I guess. Here we have Kihyun. Oh, oh, his little drawing is adorable. Oh, and his heart is so pretty, too. Then we have Hyunwon. Oh my gosh! That, that is an image. I love seeing the different ways that people draw hearts. It's really cute. And then Juhani. Oh. Very cute. And Changhyun. That body looks about the level of drawing skills that I have. The face is cute, though. <laughs> Very cute. And then it's got this, like, stand that you can punch out to, like, display one of the cards. That's cute. I like that. It's like a two-in-one. It's like there are these nice little postcards, but you also have this bonus way to display them. And then we've got the larger Polaroids. It says, have a good day at the bottom. That's a really cute picture of Jonu back. It's got the smiley faces and the member's name. It says they are. Minhyuk. Kihyun. Very cute. Hyunwon. Chu Honey. And I am. And then finally the photo cards, and then we'll move on to the other box. So we start off with show new. And that's what the back looks like. Minhyuk. Oh, his brows look so dark compared to his hair. Kihyun. Hyunwon. honey and I am oh and this is a perfect opportunity to show you what I mean about the K-Town for you photo cards like that is the size of a normal starship photo card the K-Town for you ones are much smaller they are more like a standard photo card size so 
it is a little bit annoying to see the discrepancy in the binder because that's part of why I liked collecting Monster X cards so much was because they are that larger sturdier seeming size. That's one of the reasons I didn't go out of my way to get like the special fan sign call photo cards from like subculture and stuff like that for Monster X because they are also the slimmer size and I just I don't like that as much. I like the larger thicker Starship official kind. Okay and now for the second box which again has the acrylic keyring, ID photo set, sticker set, and two cut photo set. My Biases and Monster X are Minhyuk, Kihyun, and I am. So it would be nice if I could get one of them for the acrylic key ring, but it's not really something I'm going to go out of my way to collect, so I will be happy with whichever member I get. Let's see, okay, that's on the bottom, so we'll try and see if we can manage to save that for last. Um, okay, so for the Stickers. It looks like we have some mint for use on the calendar. So we've got some letters and numbers and the little smiley faces, which are so cute. And we've got these with the members' names, and they wrote them out in English and Korean. And looks like we've got some other messages from them as well. Oh, and they also all wrote Mom Bebe. That's really cute. Oh, I see. I see what it is. At the top, it's Mom Bebe, and then their names in Korean, and then it's their names in English, and then in Korean, and then their names, and then Mom Bebe in English. And I love seeing all of their different handwritings. It's really cute. Ah, and I should have figured, those little sticker designs that we saw throughout the packaging, we get those as actual stickers. So that's fun. That's a really smart detail that I honestly didn't even think of until right now. And then this last sticker sheet. Oh, this is fun. So it's pictures of the members, but the actual sticker shape is in the shape of a heart. That's really cute. I will probably leave them in here, but that is really cute. And then the ID photos. This comes with a little envelope that says smile, which is really cute because that is what they tell you when you're taking an ID photo. And these things are so tiny. I'm gonna be honest, I don't totally understand the point of these because they're so tiny, but they are really cute. So we've got Shonu. That's what they all look like on the back. Minhyuk. Kihyun. Youngwon. Like, you can see, they're, like, not a whole lot bigger than my thumbnail. Juhani. And I am. And then we've got the two cup photos. So it looks like these are in different units. We've got Shonu and Minhyuk. And that's what they look like on the back. They say, hi, I'm on Bebe. Have a good day. We've got Juhani and Kihyun. And Hyungwon and I am. Those are really cute. And then last but not least, underneath these sticker sheets, we have the acrylic key ring. So let's see, who did I get? I can't tell anyway because of the way this is designed. Thinking Oh! Oh my gosh, I got Kihyun! I was thinking Kihyun or Shonu, and then the little smiley face moved so I could see. But a lot of the groups have been doing like little acrylic standees or keychains, and they're usually sold like individually, so I usually don't buy them. But this is really cute, it's really nice. Because like the individual ones I've seen are like 20 a piece, if I'm not wrong, with like extra shipping. But oh, oh, he is so cute. I definitely won't be using him as a keychain because I don't want him to get messed up. But I will definitely find a way to display him because he is really cute. I'm really happy that I got Kihyun. I would have been happy with any member, but I really love Kihyun. I really love all of them, but you know, he is one of my ultimate biases. So it's extra special. Yeah, that was really cute. I really liked both of the photo shoot concepts and all of the little extras that it came with. There really wasn't anything that I didn't like or felt like could have been replaced with something more useful. The ID photos are a little tiny for my taste, but that just is the way that ID photos are. 
plus we got the photo card set, the postcard set, and the large Polaroid set. We got a lot of other extra photo stuff to make up for how tiny those are. That was all really, really cute. I was really impressed with this one. Which I'm glad, because like I said, I wasn't as huge of a fan of the 2021, so this definitely was a step up for me. That is it for today's K-pop haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.